What's up everyone, I'm Devin Cringe, and ladies and gentlemen, today we got a good amount of movie news, yes folks. So, it looks like everyone is talking about the uh, success of the Sonic movie, which it very much deserved, because it was really, really nice, I gotta say. So, today we actually have two stories to talk about. The first one is, of course, uh, how the Sonic movie actually got the best uh, opening weekend ever for a game adaptation movie. And the second one is going to be an update about the upcoming Uncharted movie that's going to be released in, uh, sometime in March 2021. So with that being said, let's get into it, shall we? It says the Sonic movie has enjoyed a very strong first opening weekend at the US box office, opening to a 57 million according to Box Office Mojo. Uh, this eclipses even the most generous of pre-release expectations and means that the movie now had the best opening weekend for a game licensed movie surpassing Pokemon's Detective Pikachu at a 53 uh, 54.3 million opening it's worth noting that the 57 million figure is an estimate and although the eventual figures tend to uh, uh, trend up rather than down it's always a possibility that the uh, movie made slightly less than expected uh, how Pokemon's Detective Pikachu was originally reported to made 58 million in any case, it's a good opening for the movie, which has attracted mixed reviews, although GameSpot's review uh, from uh, Phil Hornshaw was very positive, as were many others. The movie uh, is expected to do well in the box office on President's Day on February 17th as well. The movie has made an additional 43 million outside the US so far. Well to that, I gotta say, massive thumbs up, you know. The movie obviously wasn't the best movie ever made, but holy crap, it was pretty pretty good. And obviously, huge props to Jim Carrey, I mean, he still got it, and of course everyone else who worked on the movie and all that. And of course, the people at Paramount that actually listened to the fans and actually delayed the movie uh, to uh, redesign the character to look, uh, you know, like Sonic and not uh, the absolute monstrosity that we saw at the, uh, at the leaks. So yeah, there we go. Recent successful movies uh, based on games have the majority of their money overseas. Warcraft and Tomb Raider uh, succeeded internationally while doing poorly in the US. While Resident Evil The Final Chapter made less than 10% of its money domestically, this makes Sonic's uh, opening weekend in the US more unique. Well, here's the thing. Um, me personally, I've never actually uh, I've never actually either liked or disliked the Tomb Raider movies. I thought they were like okay for what they are. But uh, I've seen Warcraft and uh, Jesus H. Christ, that is terrible, it was so bad. And of course, uh, Resident Evil The Final Chapter does not surprise me at all, because the Resident Evil movies sucked monkey ass uh, from the very get-go. It also says, meanwhile, Birds of Prey, which opened lower than expected last weekend, held uh, well compared to many other DC movies. It landed in second place with an estimated 17.1 million over the weekend, dropping, uh, dropping 48%, so far it's made a... Uh, 61.6 million in the USA and 145.2 million worldwide. Well, honestly, that also doesn't surprise me as well. It is so satisfying to see, uh, you know, movies like Sonic completely trounce Birds of Prey. They completely destroyed Harley Quinn with that horrible movie. Like, goddamn, Jesus H. Christ. We're gonna take a look at this top 10. Of course, number one, we have Sonic the Hedgehog at 57 million. Number two, Birds of Prey, 17.1 million. Uh, three, Fantasy Island, 12.4 uh, million. The Photograph, uh, 12.27 million. And five, Bad Boys for Life, uh, 11.3 million. 1917 and Ada, Ada almost uh, 8.1 million. Uh, that was actually a really good movie as well. I highly recommend you watch that. Uh, Jumanji The Next Level, 5.7 million. I actually have a lot of things to say about the stupid new Jumanji movies and all that, uh, but, uh, you know, to, just to save you from the, uh, from the ranting that I have pent up, I'm just gonna say they have completely ruined the Robin Williams cult classic. I swear to God. Next we have uh, Parasite at number 8 with 5.5 million. Number 9, Doolittle uh, with uh, 5.05 uh, million. And of course, 10 uh, at number 10, we have Downhill at uh, 4.6 million. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog has uh, had the best opening weekend for, uh, for a game licensed movie and all that, even surpassing Detective Pikachu by a slight margin. So, that's pretty awesome, I gotta say. I'm uh, pretty sure that everyone who uh, worked on the movie uh, feels super proud of themselves, as they should. And of course, again, huge props to everyone involved. And yeah, so now let's take a look at uh, the second story we have for today. So it looks like Tom Holland gave an update on the Uncharted movie that's apparently been 10 years in the making. Yes, everyone. And he says that it's one of the best scripts he's ever read. So yeah, it says the Uncharted movie has been a long time coming and it's in the form of a, of a production or another for more than a decade. It now seems like the stars have finally aligned as Spider-Man actor Tom Holland is on board uh, to play as a young Nathan Drake uh, with uh, Mark Wahlberg. 
Uh, attached to a place Sully, Holland is now given an interview about the film and he seems enthusiastic about the script in particular. He said the movie may succeed where other video game adaptations have struggled because its story is a new one. I have read the newest draft of the script and it's one of the best scripts I've ever read, he told IGN. Holland went on to acknowledge that the Uncharted movie has been in development hell. Uh, there have been uh, uh, lots of uh, turnovers as well as the movie has uh, shuffled through several different directors and numerous scriptwriters before. I'm super excited to make uh, that movie and it's been a long time coming. I think Mark, Mark Wahlberg is going to kill it as Sully and that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Holland gave his interview alongside his onward co-star Chris Pratt uh, who was reportedly offered a role of Drake years ago. Pratt is said to have passed the role in his interview. Uh, Pratt pretends that as if he's starting in the Uncharted movie and it makes for a unique response uh, given his history with the franchise. Sony has officially uh, hired six directors for the Uncharted movie. All of them uh, have quit. Uh, Sony is now reportedly eyeing Zombieland and Venom directors. The Uncharted movie script has been uh, rewritten numerous times. The most uh, current draft we know is written by uh, Rafe Jutkis, uh, Arden Markham, and Matt Halloway, the latter two of whom wrote the original Iron Man movie. If all goes to plan, the Uncharted movie will release in uh, theaters on March 5th, 2021. As for the Uncharted video game series, uh, 2017's Uncharted Lost Legacy is the most recent entry in the series following the Thief's End in 2016. No new games have been announced, and developer Naughty Dog's next release is The Last of Us Part 2, which is due to release in May. Even though Naughty Dog is finished with the Uncharted series and Ethan Drake's story is over, the developer says a different studio could come in and make Uncharted 5 well. Here's the thing, I got multiple things to say about this. The first one is, uh, since the movie has been so long in uh, writing and production and all that, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, both Sony and uh, everyone who actually stuck uh, with the movie are uh, completely fed up and are finally uh, finally happy to actually be done with it and all that. Now, secondly, I do think that this is uh, probably gonna, you know, pan out well because here's the thing, a lot of people have actually said throughout the years that uh, the Uncharted games are basically games with like a movie-like storyline and all that. I mean, it's pretty apparent with like the scenes in uh, Uncharted 2, you know, like with that iconic train scene and all that. It's very cinematic, very, you know, action-y and all that stuff. So I do think that will translate well to the big screen and all. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see what they're going to come up with since it's also going to be like an original story. And of course, thirdly, for this whole like, uh, you know, uh, Naughty Dog saying a different studio can make Uncharted 5, um, I'm actually pretty excited to see what they're going to come up with next because uh, Uncharted does actually seem like it could lend itself to like new storylines, especially since, uh, you know, like uh, Nathan Drake's daughter, you know, could definitely take over, you know, take the reins for him. Kind of like how it is with Tomb Raider and all that stuff. You could basically have these two adventurer families like the Crofts and the Drakes and all that. Maybe, uh, maybe at one point we could see a crossover movie between them and all that. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Uh, pretty exciting stuff, I gotta say. It's pretty awesome that Sonic actually netted such a huge, uh, a huge box office release and all that stuff. And of course, I am definitely interested in uh, the Uncharted movie and what's going to go on with that. Uh, me personally, I'm not really hyped up for it and all. Uh, when the movie does come out, I will probably see it when it's on demand and all that. But uh, yeah, it is uh, it is looking up to be uh, pretty nice and all. Uh, finally, the movie is going to be made after a decade, after uh, you know tumultuous decade of uh, writing and rewriting production and all that. Thankfully, the nightmare will be over for those people. So, for any fans of the Uncharted games that wanted a movie made out of it, well, there you go, it's finally got a release date, hopefully everything pans out just well. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching, be sure to subscribe to the bell icon, and if you wish to support me, I'll put a link in the description below, and as always, I am Demon Cringe, and I'll be seeing you guys and gals in the next video.